Welcome back to the Husky Highlight Show. I'm Lauren Lemieux, sports video producer for The Daily. And I'm Taylor Soper, sports multimedia producer for The Daily. And we're here at Gill Coliseum after the 75-72 victory over the Oregon State Beavers. And with this win tonight, the Huskies stay tied with Cal for first place in the Pac-12 rankings. Let's get straight to the highlights. After that ugly loss to Oregon Thursday, the Huskies were in Corvallis Sunday, sitting a half game out of first place. OSU's Jared Cunningham had this dunk early on and led OSU with nine first half points, while CJ Wilcox was aggressive early on and had seven at the break. Terrence Ross had this alley-oop slam and led the UW with nine points at the half, while the Huskies shot just 34% in a physical first half, as the teams entered halftime tied at 31. Then it was Rowan finding Ross again to start the second half, and minutes later it was Abdul Gaddy hooking up with Rowan on this oop to put the Huskies up by one. The UW had its biggest lead at 51-46 with 8 minutes left after Wilcox nailed this right elbow 3-pointer. Gaddy then sunk a 3-pointer of his own to put the UW up 61-58, but the Beavers stayed close, and Angus Brandt made this jumper to bring the Beavs back within 3. Ahmad Starks made this rainbow 3-pointer to make it 70-68 with 25 seconds left, but Desmond Simmons calmly hit these two free throws to allow the Huskies to escape with a narrow 75-72 win and come away with a road split of the Oregon schools. And we're back at Gill Coliseum after the win. The Huskies had a pretty good team effort tonight, but Taylor, if you had to pick one player for the Dogs, who would it be? You know, Terrence Ross had 21 points and 13 rebounds, but I'm going to have to go with Abdul Gaddy. Last year against OSU, had a big game, and he did it again today. First half, he was okay. He only ended up only scoring eight points, but he was a really good floor conductor out there. Found the open guys, you know, didn't turn the ball over much. And Romar said, you know, this was the Abdul Gaddy that he really knows. A lot of times people don't see the spectacular with, with uh, Abdul. There are plays like that that uh, us coaches know why he's on the floor. Because he's capable of doing that. He hasn't had stretches where he's done that this year at times. But tonight, that was the Abdul Gaddy that I know. And so, Lauren, how big of a win was this tonight against Oregon State? Yeah, it was a huge win against the Beavers tonight. One, it was a road game, which is always a little bit more difficult, but the Huskies were also coming off of that atrocious loss against Oregon and Eugene, and sometimes it can be hard to pick back up after a game like that, but the players and the coaches, they all just said they kind of had to erase that one from their memories, and they did it tonight, and with the win, they stayed tied with Cal in first place, which is all they can hope for at this point. Yeah, we knew we could fall to fourth place or you know, stay in first, so that's the magnitude of the game. So. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty remarkable. They didn't play well at all against Oregon tonight. They didn't play that well either, but hey, they're still in first place. And they host the Arizona schools next week at home for a pretty big, another big weekend. Every, every game now is big. And so, yeah, we'll see you on Thursday. For Lauren, I'm Taylor. Thanks for watching. The final Washington 75, Oregon State 72.